Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over what the best mage skills are, or best skills to use, and also the best abilities for mage art. Just want to say automatically, some of these skills are either uh, unobtainable or they are from the uh, dungeon stuff. So click the quest, click this icon here, and it tells you how to get these skills right here. You need to just clear these dungeons uh, quite a lot of times. So, yeah, but they are worth it. And we're going to go over them now. So, first, though, the best actual abilities to use for mage is ice spikes for boss damage very good very 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 amazing and uh it's also good with another perk where you're only going to use it we'll get into that in a little bit and then for killing uh ads would be either tsunami polar vortex what does this have oh, that's fireball okay so either tsunami polar vortex or sandstorm those three are going to be good just for, you know, you're going around, going in the dungeon, just killing the adds. Do that. And then when you get to a boss, you use ice spikes. That's the best thing to use. But if you have the equality perk where you have to raid, uh, I believe, wait, is it? No, not smog. Poison prison like 450 times, you get this perk. And it makes it to that all the damage you do in general gets spread across all the enemies so ice spikes is good because you do so much damage right to one enemy and all that damage gets splits across all of these different enemies so once you get equality just only use ice spikes that's all you need other than that use tsunami to kill the ads and then when you get a boss use ice spikes and then also my recommendation for ultimates is get a 5.8 power at least, and then make your way up to a 6.24 power, because 6.24 is the highest a ultimate can get. So, yeah. Now that we got that out of the way with the weapons, we will move on to skills now. Uh, I'm going to be um, upgrading all the skills I use. So, yeah, and also I will explain how you get these skills and if they're obtainable or not. Which most of these, or a good chunk of these here are not. Uh, first off, Jack is just good because it's extra XP, gold, and luck. That I don't think is obtainable, but you can trade for it. It was from the Grand Grotto Dungeon. Uh, buff was from the calendar that was there, but I don't know if you can trade for it. Uh, I like Reflex because since Mage does not have any mobility at all, or no movement abilities, um... It's just great. You get hit, you could just run away real quick, or you could just, you know, speed run through, whatever. Uh, Gratuity is good for quests. You get extra quest tokens. Very helpful. Uh, you can do scavenge if you do uh, wave defense, but I don't really do wave defense, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, float is just not good, but I think it's funny, so I'm going to use it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Gratuity, I think, is from Candy... Uh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Candyland. Wow. <laughs> My bad. So this is from Candyland. This is from Coral Kingdom. This here is from Space Base. Evasion is from Daring Dojo. And it makes it so that there's a chance for you to not get hit by the enemy. That's, what is that? A, uh, I actually do not know what the percent chance is. I'm drawing a blink, but it, it's just a it's a noticeable noticeable percent chance. Uh, thievery, absolutely amazing. If you're grinding event dungeons, you could just kill an enemy and get a boss drop. Very amazing. Uh, you get this from doing 475 smog symptoms, which is a lot. But I mean, the boss is easy to kill, and it's a very short dungeon, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, chance was from the advent calendar. Don't know if that's available, but it, it's just nice. You get a kill elite boss, you have a chance to get a uh, wheel spin, which is the wheel over there. Uh, I don't use snooze, I don't use thorns. Uh, alchemy is amazing. It is from um, Magic Mushroom, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Magic Mushrooms. 
Uh, very, very good skill. It makes your potions last longer. Very good for grinding. Uh, Harvest is from... Uh, it was from Quest originally during Halloween. But, I mean, you don't need it. It's just nice. You just go... You, if you start a dungeon or you clear a room, you have a uh, chance in dropping something. So, it's nice. Uh, Heavy was from the Advent Calendar. That was there. It was like the final reward or one of the final ones. Very helpful because if there is a, a Reaper or a Greenback that hits you, you won't get knocked back. Very nice. Uh, Skipper's good. You could get quest skips just by doing quest. Very helpful. This here is from Santa's Workshop. Equality, probably the best ultimate skill in my opinion. It just makes the game so easy. And you get that, again, from Poison Prison. I like to use Force Field. It makes you invincible, essentially, when enemies are constantly hitting you. You get this from doing 575 uh, Spookiest Mansions. Quite a lot, but it's definitely worth it. On to the skills. We have Mystic. That tier of Mystic lets you do the multicast, so it looks like that. Where I could just recast my ability. So, that's very nice. Uh, cast speed here makes my ability... Be able, I'm able to use my ability quicker. Very helpful, of course. I like to use Hoarder 1 and 2, not Hoarder 3. Uh, I like to level up bonus. But most importantly, if you can, get Mystic 3. Now, you can only get Mystic 3 if you're level 1,100 at the very lowest. Does suck, but how Mystic 3 works is, also before I say anything, it does not work with Chaos. You have to actually have the random ability right here for it to work. It is good, but if you land on an ability that has a long cooldown, like Polar Vortex or Berserk or Camo, that's where the fun is gone. But anyways, uh, Mystic 3. How it works is, I'm going to click my ability once. I click it once, and it just uses my... It, it makes a second one. So the Polar Vortex was my second ability. A second ability that it summoned out of thin air, right? Then it procced Multicast. And then Multicast then proc the random ability again. So, I click it once again. Tsunami. That was my second random ability. Click Ice Spikes again. It did Lightning Strike. Let's see if we could get, like, a long-lasting one. Fireball, Multicast, Ice Spikes. Yep. Longer-lasting. That's all from one click each. Very, very, very good perk. Okay, now that we're done with that, for legendary skills, level up teamwork. Just because if you play with any or play with other people, uh, you get extra bonuses. Very helpful. Uh, capacity one and two is all I get. I don't really care about the final ones there. Uh, agile I like to have as a mage because, I mean, we have no movement speed. We don't have camo. We don't have berserk. We don't have anything like that. So. It's helpful to have that. Uh, I like to level up Jumper. Then Lifesteal is just very good perk in general. You have it maxed out. You're going to get a bunch of health. So yeah. Uh, Duty is just good because, I mean, extra quest. Immortal, I think, is just... It, it's just amazing. Extra life. Very helpful. It's just the extra life game pass, but for free. And it stacks, so... Mega. Level it up. Why not? Have bigger weapons. Chaos is good, but like, again, if you get stuck on Polar Vortex, you have to wait five seconds before you can spam again. So, yeah, kind of sucks. Alrighty, most important thing, level up Wizard. Wizard is very helpful for that cast speed and the damage, that's for sure. Obviously, we're not going to level up Archer or Warrior, mainly because, well... It, this is not a archer or warrior build. So yeah. Also, fury only affects warrior. It even has a sword on it. So yeah, attack speed meaning the sword attack. Just letting you know. I used to level this up thinking it would work. 
found out it didn't. Next up, healthy. You want to max out healthy because of the passive regeneration. It's like 1% of your health, just over time. Very nice. So it's like within one minute of playing the game, you get 60% of your health back. And then the rest we're just going to max out because plunder is helpful, pierce is helpful, blessing is good. And just level up whichever one of these you want at any... It, you know, just do whichever one you want. So if you need to level up more, focus on wisdom. Then if you need more loot to drop, you can get blessing. There's the luck. You know, just do whatever you want for these. But the most important thing is just wizard, healthy, and then you can put the rest into fierce. Because, I mean, fierce doesn't increase your damage by like a super crazy amount. Like if you look here, it's only 76% more damage. So it's... It's fine. But yeah. Uh, I think that's everything. Do I have any skill points? Nope. No. No. And yeah. So, again, we're going to go over everything. Jack, buff, reflex, gratuity. There's all of this. Max out mystic. Again, you need to be 1,100 to get this. Then we have Hoarder 2 only. Hoarder 3, I don't really care about. And then bonus 1 is just... It's just good. It's 25% extra. Is it 25% or is it... No, it's 20%, my bad. 20% gold, XP, and luck. It all stacks up. Of all of this here. And all of that. So yeah. Anyways. With all of, the, with all of that done there... We'll just go into like a smog sanctum and uh, I'll show you what you could do when you have all this stuff equipped. And then on top of that, I'll just use a, a speed potion and an ability potion. Because those are the only two potions you need. Well, other than the other luck potions. I'll show you. Uh, The only potions you need. Ability. Because it actually affects mage. Luck. Speed potion. And super luck. Which I got the speed potion and the ability potion from the Coral Kingdom secret shop. The drop, like the chance of it spawning in is pretty low. I guess maybe one in a hundred. Not fully sure, but yeah. Uh, luck potions I just bought with quest tokens. And then the super luck I got from the daily dungeons. You get these tokens. You can get six tokens daily if you do all three modes. And then... Um... Once you do all three modes, you can just use your tokens and buy the Super Lux for two tokens each. So, essentially, every day, you can get three Super Lux. So, yeah. Anyways, also, when I use my potions, I got 33 minutes of the potions instead of 30. That's because of alchemy, so yeah. Anyways, this is what, uh, this is what you could do when you... Put on all the stuff, and you just go through all these dungeons this quickly. I am kind of teleporting back. I don't know if that's like an anti-cheat or whatever, but uh, yeah. I'm just going crazy. Kill the boss that quickly. Reset my character. The reason why I reset my character is so I can just spawn right there. Yep. Little pro tip. Reset your character when you, uh, when you kill a boss. And as you can see, all the enemies are dying at the same rate. If you look around, they're all taking the same. They're all taking like relatively the same amount of damage, and that is because of equality. And if you look at my abilities, they're going kind of a uh, kind of crazy. I got no rapid fire on, just my abilities, and also uh, the ability potions and the skills. So yeah, this is how OP mage is. Also, uh, using the uh, ability coloring here is just super amazing. I love it. It's a really great change. And uh, if you want to like change, if you want to have like uh, your abilities be like the same color as like your weapons, like as you can see here, like the, it's the same yellow as the phantasm. I just use like a color coder online. Then it says like like put an image in and i just put an image of like the phantasm which is this weapon here and then you just you know click on the color part and it tells you the color code and then you could just 
plop it in here, and yeah. It may not look right at first, right? But in game, you can see that it's very, very close. If not, it is the same color. So yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. We're about to hit 400 subscribers. And since we're about to hit 400 subs, I will be giving away a boss drop. So yay. The boss drop I'm be giving away is going to be Sapphire Moth Wings, which I'll show you show you what they uh, look like. If I can load. All right, thank you. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a, uh, um, uh, mythic, probably from Thievery. Yeah, Sapphire Moth Wings look like this. Be giving away these. All you gotta do is uh well well i'll make a video on it but when i make a giveaway video just like and subscribe or like the video subscribe and then in the comments down below of the video you're just gonna put in your roblox name and yeah but uh i'll make a video on that eventually so yeah um but anyways thanks for watching have a great uh day or night whatever it is for you and uh good luck grinding i hope this video helped it's a bit of a longer video, but yeah, take care and peace out.